Marcus Conti reporting on sex slaves and not the rubber ones, real sex slaves. That's a guy in, in Albany, you heard. Keith Renier. Renier. Keith Renier, not a Frenchman at all, an American, uh, was the, the cult leader of Nexium. I know a lot of people get crazy about this uh, Nexium cult that they're involved in child pornography and child, uh, child trafficking. There wasn't really any evidence of that, but nonetheless, a New York court has found Keith Renier, uh, sex cult leader, guilty of all counts, seven counts of all kinds of stuff uh, involving running a sex cult in New York. Now, there's a lot of associations. There's, I know that the Clintons were, you know, Hillary Clinton was a senator of New York in Albany, and, uh, and uh, Kirsten Gillibrand's father had a connection to Keith Renier, and such, but I'm not going to make those connections because that's guilty by association. I, I think that's um, that's unfair, <laughs> even for a criminal like Hillary Clinton, and a, and a lay down like uh, Kirsten Gillibrand. Nonetheless, um, he was found guilty by a court, and um, I don't know. It just brings up the it, as you read it, extorting money from people, tricking people into. You know, or or in one case, they actually extorted three hundred thousand dollars from a uh, from a dead person. I guess that's not extortion, but they they took the money out of uh, they charged credit to uh, a dead person, right? So things like that are are foul. Now, when someone submits to a sexual situation, right? Submissive, beat me, freeze me you know, wound me, right? Drop candle wax on me and, you know, and punish me. Right? There's some people that sign up for that. Right? So I'm just, I'm just putting that out there as, as we read along. I'm not sure if that's what it is, but sure it could, it could certainly be. So, so here's the, here's the, uh, here's the, the news, right? So uh, Nexium, I think I'm pronouncing it right. Nexium, self, sex cult leader and accused pedophile, Keith Renier was found guilty on uh, Wednesday of running the ultra-secretive organization that hot-branded and tortured women as part of an organized scheme to provide himself with a constant supply of sex slaves. Now, the branding and all that stuff is is well documented, and I, I have a recording of that, where him and the um, the Smallville uh, star Mac, whatever her name is, are discussing it. Uh, we'll talk, we'll, I'll play that for you. When it, within Nexium, Renier, Renier ran a <coughs> excuse me secret society called DOS, in which slaves were tasked with recruiting slaves uh, on their own, of their own. Excuse me. The woman, the women were starved, branded with Renier's initials, and forced to sleep with him or perform other sex acts. Wow, Renier was it's every man's dream, right? Fucking, <laughs> okay. uh, it's not. I mean, rock stars have multiple women and. And, and what you could call a sex slave and women lining up at the door to, to get a little piece of the rock star. Right? Rene, who portrayed himself as a servant, uh, a savant, ah, savant, and a genius, was in fact a master manipulator, a con man, and a, and a crime boss of a, of a cult-like organization involving sex trafficking, child pornography. <clears throat> Stop there. I didn't see any evidence of child pornography, but I could be wrong. Uh, extortion, compelled abortions, branding, degradation, and humiliation. It's all s and stuff. The punishment could include being forced to hold painful positions, <laughs> stand barefoot in the snow, take cold showers, and whip each other on the butt with the strap. Uh, Ms. Salzman recalled that Mr. Rene once uh, called upon the beatings to tell the woman to make sure that they snap their wrists in a peculiar way, particular way, to inflict maximum pain. Brooklyn federal jury found Rene guilty on all counts in the seven-week trial, including racketeering, conspiracy, sex trafficking, sex trafficking conspiracy, attempted sex trafficking, forced labor conspiracy, and wire fraud conspiracy. Uh, uh, Rene didn't. He didn't shake his attorney's hand um, before being cuffed and dragged out of the courtroom. Rene's co-defendants pleaded guilty. So there's a lot of other people involved, um, right? This woman right here, Bronman, Brofman, um, contributed. I think her and her sister contributed two hundred fifty million dollars. 
So Rainier was a was a uh, he was a, a sugar daddy, not a sugar daddy, the opposite. He would prey on trust fund women with a lot of money and fame and a lot of time on their hands, right? Sort of like a that's kind of what Charles Manson did. Charles Manson did the same thing in California. He would prey on on groupies. Right? So he, he, it's um, that's kind of what's going on, I think. Smallville's Mac. This this chick, I guess I don't watch TV, so I don't know who she is. Pleaded guilty to manipulating and procuring women for an heir, <laughs> uh, who required that prospective slaves upload compromising collateral into a Dropbox account. <laughs> I like to see the Dropbox account. I see what kind of what what they consider compromising. One such uh, recruit turned coach was India Oxberg, daughter of Dynasty actress. Uh, again, they're all they're all celebrities and. And and uh, important folks, I guess. And this guy just preyed on him, right? His old fucking, you know, Bill Gates looking motherfucker, right? Who met the prosecutors? All right. So, so in one recorded conversation, uh, I'll I'll play the recording. But here's here's this chick, right? With this, you know, I guess uh, just a middle aged woman, fucking took like a branding. I mean, people want people go into the into tattoo parlors, right, and get branded, right? Don't they? Don't they go, I mean, don't people line up and have brandings and tattoos all over their body, right? Again, it sounds like I'm defending it. I'm just trying to understand, you know, exactly what's going on here. Here's a woman, and she joins this 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 group, and she's probably well aware of how deep it is and, and all this stuff, right? And she lets them brand her, right? I don't know. Renia was also indicted on charges of having sex with a... Fi- 15 year old girl before he he formed Nexium's inner circle as well as producing kitty porn however there was no counts related to the pedophilia in this verdict all right so innocent until proven guilty i know a lot of pedof- people pizza gate fucking pedophile chasers right that are probably pedophiles themselves that's why they chase around pedophiles that's right i said it man that's right i said that shit I had a lot of these pedophile fucking chasers are are likely to be the pedophiles that chase, right? What's the best way to what's the best way to control the opposition? You lead it. Right. So there, I put that out there. So, but anyway, it turns out that that these were just accusations prior to his involvement in Nexium. Right? So you gotta give him a pass on that. You gotta give him a pass on that, right? Because if it was real and it was significant and there was evidence, they would have they would have thrown the book at the guy. They wanted him. Rainier, 58, is accused of having uh, a child, quote, engage in sexually explicit conduct for the purpose of producing one or more visual depictions of such conduct. Again, but there's no evidence that was never included. Here's where it's fucked up. Here's where I say, put all the other stuff aside. Here's where you drop the, you, you ha- drop the hammer on the guy. In addition to exploiting women for sex, Prosecutors said Renier charged a dead Nexium member's credit card over $100,000 and wrote checks in excess of $300,000 out of her bank account. Wow, now that's, that's massive, you know, that's massive theft, you know, at an epic level, right? Stealing $300,000 from a, a dead woman's bank account, right? It's a, her, a, who's... That was inheritance for somebody, and they got they they got ripped off by this crazy guy after the woman dead was dead. So, witnesses offered a chilling and sometimes surreal glimpse of daily life inside the highly secretive group. Uh, high-ranking members of Rainier's organization hacked into computer accounts and paid private investigators in an effort to obtain personal information on perceived enemies, including Chuck Schumer and the liquor li- liquor mag uh, magnet. Edgar Boffman Sr., that's the, uh, I forgot the name, I just read it before, Seagram's, whose two daughters became members of Nexium. evidence showed. Uh, uh, Rainier will be sentenced on September 25, uh, so a couple of months out he'll be sentenced. So so what's going on here, right? So, oh, I'm sorry, I didn't play the recording. So here's a recording of, uh, of Allison Mack and Rainier discussing the branding. And Allison... Uh, what's the date? The 10th. No, the 9th. January 9th, 6.59 a.m. Talking about branding on the wall. So, 
Uh, I think doing the actual brand in an orderly fashion, mm -hmm. each of the seven strokes, <coughs> having a certain ritualization, mm -hmm. <coughs> maybe each of the strokes, um, strokes. has uh, something that's said with them mm -hmm. and maybe repeated after the stroke is done. So like <clears throat> somebody says the thing while the stroke mm -hmm. is being done and then the person that's getting it done repeats it afterwards? Well, I don't know. Yeah, you, you guys come up with something and propose it to me. Okay. Well, because you've done it. So what would have been most meaningful, deep, surrendering, focusing for you? I think it probably having it whispered in my ear and then repeating it out loud. Uh-huh. So here they are. Here's two people, right? They're, they're discussing a, a branding technique to get into this organization, right? And women are, I, I believe, are, are, are aware of what's going to happen, and they sign up for it, right? So, I mean, does he sound like a, uh, a deviant uh, holding, holding someone down and, and branding them against their will? Not at all. It sounds more like a, a, uh, something that the people know they're getting into. And they sign up for it, and they voluntarily go through it. So I, I don't know. I don't know what to make of this shit, man. I, I say, you know, you know what, man? Sex, sexuality, and sex is crazy shit, man. It's people like, I mean, there's people. I, I, I mean, I recall a friend. He says he met this. Right? This is fucking. This is a true story. Right? This is a funny story. Right? Guy's full of tattoos. He's a rock star guy. Right? He's a friend of mine. A big rock star guy. Right? He's and and he um, he tells me this story of this, uh, this, this very conservative kind of dressed down woman that he met. Right. And, and he, he meets her and they go out on a date. Right. And, and, uh, and, and he, and so, so the, so, she, so just the visual is just this big angry rock and roll tattoo guy. Right. You know, a, a very smart guy, but you know, full of tattoos, rock star guy. Right. And, and this, this kind of conservative lawyer with, you know, glasses that kind of like I'm wearing, <laughs> And then they go back to the uh, they go back to the boom boom room, right? They go back to her apartment, right? And and he he's he told he told me the story, right? He's like, she didn't want to have like conventional sex. Instead, she 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 has a um, she has a doggy mat a, where a dog would sleep, right? And she she comes out she comes out on uh, with with I don't know clothes or no clothes I can't remember, and she sits on the on the uh, doggy mat. You know, and sa and says and calls keeps calling him daddy, right? And sh what she's trying to sh and and then it gets even more deviant and disgusting, right? Of the things that she's asking him to do, degrading, piss on him, pissing him out, right? It's fucking crazy, right? I think there was even a little shit going on, right? I mean, bizarre. I, I mean, I I was listening to it. You got to be kidding me! It's fucking crazy, right? Or is it? Is it crazy? Is sexuality and and deviant behavior crazy? I I don't know. I don't know what the answer to that question is. Is branding people? Is people are people wanting to be part of a a inner circle cult? That's very common in in you know Buddhist circles where people, you know, the tantric you know tantric Buddhism and such with the with the you know fucking the sex thing sex shit going on right sex tantra right. And uh, is that is that necessarily a bad thing? People want to be part of these, these uh, these secretive kind of cults. I just draw the line when somebody gets you know ripped off for a hundred thousand dollars, or uh, you know that that's different. Money, that's a different. Now now we're talking about a different story. Did he extort that money from people? Did he traffic in sex slaves? I, I don't know about that. I'm not really sure about that. But did he definitely extort the money out of these people and such? Uh, yeah, guilty as charged. So, I don't know. That's my opinion. What's your opinion? Marcus Conte reporting. Become a Patreon of the channel. Hey, listen, man. You know, it's fucking, this is how we survive, right? Uh, you can be a one-time one -time, uh, uh, you know, contributor on, on uh, PayPal, right? You get to sit here. You get to hear the real news. You get to see very handsome man in his muscle shirt tell you the news, right? It's a good place to be, right? It's fucking, instead of fake news, right? Marcus Conti reporting.